Hi, this is Tanya. And I'm Wes. And we're back at the W Farmstead. I have a problem going on with my grasshopper, and Wes is going to explain a little bit more about what's going on with it, and then we're going to show you what we're doing to try and fix it. So, uh, Tanya has a uh, 321D grasshopper mid-mount mower, and uh, what happened is, is with the fuel solenoid, um, there is a... I guess I would just call it a joint. You'll see what I'm talking about here. I just, I can't think of what they call it right now, but it's a joint and the uh, joint actually broke where it connects onto the engine and into the fuel solenoid. And what it did is it made it so that when she shut off her uh, key, that the uh, diesel engine didn't shut off. So we're gonna fix that little joint quickly. And uh, so hopefully you'll find this entertaining. You know, we'll, we'll do our best at trying to be entertaining, I guess, but, um, so let's, let's get to work. Always more work. <laughs> okay. So Tanya can get around here. This is the uh, fuel solenoid. And then the fuel solenoid comes up and hooks into the injector pump right there. And what you can see is, see this little piece right here. It broke off of this right here. So that would be hooked like that. So that way what happens is this is at a certain distance that when this solenoid comes up or this ram that's in this solenoid, it takes and it loses the uh, magnetic connection and basically shuts down the uh, diesel engine. That's my understanding. So, but, so this thing right here, which Here's a new one. This one, no, that's right size. So this thing is what we've got to change out. So you have to pull this out of here and then pull this one off and then put it back together. So if you guys are ever curious, here's what the inside of the uh, solenoid looks like. It's just like a big ram with a spring on it. So I'm going to pull this out and uh, I'm going to try and take this off. So I hope I've got the right sizes, which I do right there. So basically what I'm going to do is just loosen this up. And then when I put the new one on, I'll screw it back down and take it right on to the point where the nut is so that it's at the correct adjustment. Oop, there goes the, uh, so like I said, it may be easier just to put this in a, uh, that's all right, I don't need it right now. There we go. Okay, so that thing came off. Be sure that nut stays at the same place. And off. Grab the new one, put that on. See what happened was, is that ball. There's a ball down there. You can see it came out of the socket on there is what it did. So. Uh oh, don't wanna mess with that too much. Yeah, got it good and tight, so that'll stay right in there. Okay. So for right now, I'm going to leave this off. Let's put it right there. Now here comes the thumb part. So that comes all the way back. Let's bring this all the way forward. That's the fluoronal control. So. Let's see if I can get this on here. See if I can. Oh, that was already loose. Wow. Okay. So there we go. See, there's the bottom part that broke out of there. 
So, place that here. Here's where the fun's going to come in. Because I've got to go on ahead and put this back up in here. Put the chat on there. go. So I'll have to I'll put that up over top here. Um, we'll get that. Get the bottom part. There we go. Almost. There we are. The whole thing should be on. Okay. So, let's put that part back. We've got our little nut. Uh oh. No. I need to get this somewhere where I can see. First of all, let me get this up in here. Next thing I need to do. Call up the phones. Well, that thing doesn't exactly want to go on there. Being a pain, what I need to do is looks like I need to lift it up a little bit so I can maybe start it easier because there's stuff down here in the way. You want me to try to do it? No. Nope. Get my fingers in there? No. I need to uh, pull it up and be sure that thing's going to start on it. That's what my problem is. Uh oh. Shut it off. We're just, yeah. So, what I'm trying to do, which just tends to be a pain. But well, what I can do is if I take and turn this on, it holds it for me. So that's a nice little trick there. I know you can't hold on. see hold on. So what I'm going to try and do, what I did is I took and I turned on the ignition. So when that does it, this fuel solenoid holds back that cylinder that you saw. So let's see now. I can get that on there. I don't have. Sweat running down my nose. I'm sorry, it's 100 degrees out here. Golly, man. Oh, that man does it. That may do the trick. Use this and spin it to get it on there. Okay. 
It's in a precarious position. It's kind of hard to spin the nut. Yeah, it's kind of in a sp spot that's hard to get to. Yes, it is. But the uh, turning on the ignition, holding that solenoid back helped big time. Good trick. Good note for everybody out there. Okay, so. See what it go. worked. Now my engine starts so and tight. stops. Sure, and tighten it up just a little bit more. Okay. And now, right. so that was it. I was kind of a pain in the butt. You notice I'm sweating like crazy. Whew. I'm sweating. I didn't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, got stuff all over me. So that was uh, how to fix that point on the uh, fuel solenoid. And yeah, I can put it this way. I can generally fix stuff mechanical. When it comes to electrical, I am not good at electrical. I am not an electrician and I'm not a plumber. But for some reason, with these diesel engines on these uh, Kubotas, I can do work on them and they're, they're awesome. I enjoy it. So, all righty. Well, that was it. We're going to get to mowing here. Um, we appreciate you all and have a good day. Hope to see you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe.